So let me show you this puffer. It's called the Golden Puffer. It comes from Hawaii. Uh, pretty easy to keep. Uh, so we sold a pair of cross hatches, cross hatch triggers. Meanwhile, it's not easy to get it from tank right here. So tank goes from dead. So we took out rocks and we're going to we're going to catch them getting the, the boxes ready right there. These are the boxes, one per each because it's a big fish. crazy hot outside. So let me show you this puffer. It's called the Golden Puffer. It comes from Hawaii. Uh, pretty easy to keep. Uh, pretty easy to keep. It's great for a, for a fish only tank. Feeding silver sides, krill, uh, clams. You can give them clams because this is a tooth. It's got, this tooth can grow too much so it needs some grinding, like so it needs to chew on something hard that will allow him to grind those teeth. So it can, can come to a point that he cannot open his or close his mouth because the teeth are just so big. Now this one that I have here, as you guys can see, this is like this tub is about 150 gallons. So size tank for this guy, 200, 300. They get bigger. This one is about four inches, but I believe they go about 12 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Man, between eight and 12, but real big ones. This one I have it with. Um, there's a nasal tank. There's a spiny puff, porcupine puffer. There's a big, big uh, broom tail rest. Big broom tail rest. Actually, there's two broom tail rests, real big ones. Um, there's also big uh, Miniaros grouper. So they're all fine. Uh, I kind of add them all at the same time. I don't know if there's if uh, the puffer by being in the tank and then you add another puffer might be bad or not. I'm not 100% sure, but they've been doing very well together. The spiny puffer and uh, the regular puffer. Now the golden puffer obviously if you have inverts they will eat the inverts corals they will not eat the coral but if you want a little inverts clean up crews and stuff like that they'll get eaten. These guys as a defense mechanism they do puff. I'm not going to puff I'm not going to be stressing the fish out to, to make him puff it makes no sense it really it's not good for them because they spend a lot of energy to puff so just let, let, let them be and if something happens in your tank and he starts puffing you know it's a bit bad sign so all right guys thanks for watching see you tomorrow